Hey, what's going on, everybody? Blazer here coming at you with another 7 Deadly Sins Grand Cross video. All right, this time we're going to be summoning on the Demon Meliodas and Mon Speed Banner. Now, they're not that good of units, but they are demons, and the Demon Clan is the best clan, so I'm going to be summoning on that banner. I figured I got enough for two multis, and it's going to be here for a week, almost two. So I figured I got enough time. I want the Demon Meliodas especially because that armor is clean. It's the armor that's been in the game files for like a while, I think, so... Like I said, they're not super good. He's kind of like Red Meliodas with the ultimate and the um, the ultimate and the combo ult, like they're saying. But Mon Speed is, I guess, pretty cool. And you know, like I said, they're demons, so that's why I really want them. Honestly, I ain't even gonna lie to you. Demons are an instant summon for me. Demons are my favorite clan of Seven Deadly Sins. So let's go on ahead and summon on them. Now let me retranslate what they do real quick too for anybody who doesn't know because they're not in the Discord. We're gonna, they only have the uh, three star ones translated, but let's, then again, they're the only ones that really matter. So let's show you. So I said, so let's so. What the fuck am I talking about? But uh, let me get into it. <laughs> uh, three star skill one. What does it deal with? 250% of penetration damage to all enemies. And that's pretty much it right there. It says deal 3% plus, no, 250% penetration to all enemies. Okay. All right, that's cool, I guess different i've never seen anything like that where penetration damage usually it's like attack damage or something like that but okay and then this one right here three star skill two uh cause the enemy to suffer 20 percent of their maximum hp damage for three turns additional damage in the end of turn the ult is the same as red demon meliodas like i said and the passive is if meliodas has four or less ultimate gauge stacks attack seals won't work on him so i guess since he's blue also he'll probably work oh um pretty good in um the red Gother final boss because um, that Gother can seal. So I guess it'll work good there. But other than that, uh, maybe PvP, you can't get your attack sealed by um, the red Gother because people still run him a lot. So, or in um, other units that can attack seal too. So I guess that's pretty good. Like I said, like I said, they're not that good, but like I said, they're demons. So I got to get them. Well, at least try rather. And Mon Speed. Let's get it right here. No, that's the alt. There we go. All right. His one is uh, intuition of a single move. Intuition of a, a single move that deals 500% damage to a single enemy and, gauge, and generates two gauges. It just generates two gauges. What does that mean? Like gives me two all gauges? Because it just says generates two gauges. Okay. Um, let's go to the second one right here. Not you, Meliodas. This one right here. Uh, skill 2, Vermilion Damage, deals 150% weakness to all enemies. Okay, that's pretty cool too. Let's go to the alt. Ultimate skill is Prison Bird, releases all enemies, deals 280% damage, and gives two ignition effects for four turns, 10% can stack. Cool too, his passive now. Now his passive is characters receive 30% less damage from their ultimate skills. His commandment, all heroes, allies, and enemies, and PvP will not increase their ultimate gauge from their using their skills. This effect starts at the beginning of the battle. Okay, so this is only in PvP, and it says you can't get it by using your skills. That sucks. I mean, I guess you just move your cards around and shit, but then again, you'd just be wasting turns. Uh, if it worked everywhere, maybe. Nah, I guess PvP is probably the best place for it. Never mind. Like I said, they're not super good, but I, I want them, so... Let's get into it. Do this first multi. Let's see. Like I said, I want Demon Demon Meliodas especially. So let's see if I can get him with the first multi. Can we get him? Okay, that's the dragon handle. I want to see Lost Vein. Lost Vein means guaranteed getting something. So let's see. I'll even take Monsky, honestly. Like I said, the commandment isn't bad. He's good for PvP. But then again, it affects you in PvP also, so you can't use your skills to increase your ultimate gauge. So, uh, Let's see if one of these can be a fake out. Nope, no fake out. You know what, I'm just gonna skip this, because I just have a feeling this thing is gonna be good. Yep, I was right. All right, second multi, second and last one. He got Lizard Sword that time. Ooh. 
Lift up the hand. Let's see. Oh, rainbow. Let's see. Oh, and I won, bitch. Lay your ass down, Albion. I thought it was about to be two of them for a second. I was like, oh shit, okay. That's the barrel guy. Don't give a fuck about him. Definitely don't give a fuck about you. Nope, don't care about you either. Sit your ass down. Stop giving him me. I stopped giving him to me. There we go. Jericho. Always happy to see Jericho. Not you, though. And. Oh, they trolled this shit out of me. Gave me fucking Grimmore. That is a troll. <laughs> Had me all excited thinking I was going to get some new shit. Mine I want my SSR gauge to fill up. I didn't want no damn Grimoire. Grimoire annoys me. Now, that's going to be it for that one right there. Now, I'm going to grind up some uh, story mode and shit and do some other stuff to try to get some more stones. They've, uh, they've updated the game with a lot of new features as far as gear, and they updated some parts of the story mode. That's actually really cool, too, because now you can go to Merlin, and um, I think she um, increases the um, gear right here. It is right here. With some more clarification to the gear upgrade system, all gears can only go up to one tier higher. Okay, so you only increase gears up by one tier. Common gear can be upgraded to uncommon gear. Rare gear can turn into SR gear, and SSR gear can be upgraded to UR gear. This will give new stats since they are now one tier above, and engraving it will give bonus stats on top of the gear. Guild boss will be open from Monday to Friday and Monday to Saturday, and they got a nice little pictures looking at the different gear and shit. So, let's see. Good thing I got the Seven Deadly Sins Discord to go into because I have no idea what the fuck Hawk's talking about. So let's see. All right, yeah, Hawk, yeah, yeah, I understand completely. Yep, yep, I understand completely what you're saying. Click that. Yes, yes, Hawk. I understand. Yes, yes. That makes sense. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Captain of the Knights of Scrap Disposal. Yes, yes. Don't understand what the fuck you're saying. Yes, yes. Amazing. Okay, cool. What's this one? Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. This is fucking amazing. Uh, I wish I had to skip all this. Cool. Give me a gem for that. Shit, damn. Okay. All right, let's see. Um, ooh. Okay, can only be stuff that is maxed out completely. Okay. Let's see. Hit that. Ooh, damn, I need this shit. Okay. I noticed they were selling it in the shop. Okay, yep. We need that. What does this do? Okay, that's cool. You can engrave it into a character. Okay, cool. But I need these to do it, so yeah. Okay, and they increase the rarity of the um, blue crystal you need to upgrade your gear too, so that's perfect. Um, King should be able to do that then. How many do you need? Six, like always. I don't know why I said how many do you need. Like I, Like, it's always six to increase it. What am I talking about? Yep. All right, cool. Well, I'll figure that out. Well, first I'm gonna grind through story mode and then I'm gonna start messing around with that stuff some more. What does it look like from inside of it? Just curious. No, Escanor is maxed. Mel Demon, this Demon Leotis is not maxed. So Escanor would be right here. Let's see something. Nope, you gotta do it from there. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. And then other than that, they even gave us a new story mode, like I said. So that's pretty cool right there. And by the screenshots, it looks like it's going all the way up to Escanor. But we'll know for sure once I do that uh, mission. Because, I, like I said, I haven't played it yet, so I can't know. But like I said, this equipment change is awesome, too. You can engrave shit now. That is sweet. 
but I'm gonna need to, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need to get some of that materials. Hopefully, they start dropping them during story mode. But uh, that's gonna be it for this video right here, guys. You guys like this video? Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that bullshit. This is me, your boy Blazehood. Peace out.